so many people here throughout our history. That's what makes us special. But now for millions of Americans, it's slipping away. And we have a government and leaders in government that are completely out of touch. And that's why I'm running for president. Because we can't just save the American dream, we can expand it to reach more people and change more lives than ever before. And that's why tonight I'm asking you for your vote. Thank you, Senator. Governor Bush, America's at a crossroads. The D.C. politicians continue to make things worse. I have a proven record of success, 32 years in business and eight years as governor of the state of Florida. I will change the culture in Washington just as I change the culture in Tallahassee. And I will do so in a way that will bring people together. We need a unifier, not a cynical divider in chief. And that's exactly what I will do. Imagine a country where people are lifted out of poverty again. Imagine a country where the middle class can get rising income again. I know we can do this because we're still the most extraordinary country on the face of the earth. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Governor Hunter. You know, I know to a lot of people in the media, this is just a great big game and we're the players. And we come out here and we do our thing. And sometimes we're held up in contempt by people who write columns. But I guarantee you, every person on this stage, there's something deep inside of us that would cause us to give up our livelihoods and step out on this stage and fight for the people of America. I've got five grandkids. I do not want to walk my five grandkids to the charred remains of a once great country called America and say, here you go, $20 trillion of debt. Good luck making something out of this mess. And for those of us who are serious enough to run for president, think long and hard why we're here. And hopefully you'll know we're not here for ourselves. We, honest to God, are here to get this country back on track. I know this. I certainly am. Thank you, Governor.